Hello friends, I am Dr. Puldeep Mahadikar from Mahatma Phule Arts Commerce and Sitaramji Saudari Science College Barut. This is my first attempt at video recording. I will not say it is a lecture, but I have made a small write-up on novel Coma. You can say Coma by Robin Cook. I have read it earlier, but I thought that to present before you a brief, we can say, a kind of study on coma by Robin Cook. The main protagonist in this novel is Suzanne Wheeler. She is third year medical student, 23 year old medical student. She is very beautiful, charming and she is also training at Boston Memorial Hospital. Along with her, her four friends are also working as a trainee in Boston Memorial Hospital. Their names are George, Harvey, Jeffrey and Paul. They take round in surgery rooms and also of the ICUs. They note down post-treatment conditions of the patients. Mark Bellows is an instructor of this group. Coma, we can say, is a story or investigation of the internal working methodology of Boston Memorial Hospital. You can say, in general, what happens, particularly in medical profession, what is the internal methodology of <clears throat> the hospitals? I can't uh, say that it is applicable to all the hospitals around the world. Okay, as these students complete their three month surgical rotation. The difficulties uh, faced by a woman in so-called man's profession is also focused on. Suzanne's attention drew towards two patients particularly, Greenlee and Sean Berman. Particularly Greenlee, Nancy Greenlee, she is comatose and other patient Burma he is only in his 30s his knee surgery is completed but it is declared that it is not successful and still uh, he was not able to regain consciousness if it is to be thought medically such complication occur 1 in 1 lakh patients but it frequently happens and it is happening there in Boston Memorial Hospital then Susan puzzled and shocked by conditions of these two patients decide to investigate it uh, decide to investigate the matter and the reasons reasons behind the conditions of such patients because she herself is involved in these surgeries and she is confident that her surgeries are successful and still why such things are happening. Suzanne comes to know during her investigation that oxygen line to operating room uh, is tampered by inducing carbon monoxide or poisoning in patients during surgery. Uh, which leads to brain death. During this time, Susan comes very close to Belos and she had a very intimate relationship with him and taking advantage of this intimate relationship with Belos, she discusses with him regarding her investigation. After that, 
she evades a pursuit by a man who tries to kill her suzan is led to jefferson institute the jefferson institute is reputed for intensive care facility designed to cut down on heavy uh, medical cost patients who are declared brain dead or you can say they also even call such patients vegetables they use very bad term for such patients who are brain dead and it is shocking that susan finds out such patients are suspended from the ceiling by wires in rooms walled by glass and moved from room to room with little human involvement the samples are kept alive and healthy till the order of organs doesn't comes from other patients or rich patients the chosen organs are surgically cut off without any permissions and they are sold in black market or in a black market price so how a star who is chief of the department who is the main culprit behind all such things he is exposed he confronts suzan over her findings but he drugs her and drugs her and puts suzan in a coma under the pretext that she needs urgent in medical term we can say appendix also and appendectomy tommy also if i am right operation but bellows uh, disables the oxygen line during the operation and also prevents sub, uh, a supply of dose of carbon monoxide poisoning stark is arrested in the end but the end doesn't clarify that what happens with susan's fate so that is left in suspicion in the novel what exactly happens with susan after this is not explained so on this note it is to be concluded that coma by robin cook exposes the mal practices happening in such a well famed hospital like boston memorial hospital and jefferson institute it is a medical thriller we can call it medical thriller uh, astonishing facts are exposed in this medical thriller susan brings out facts before us it is an interesting medical thriller novel grounded in solid medical expertise and narrated with pulse racing suspense so it can be also called as ingenious uh, ingenious medical detective story which keeps our interest alive and also uh, entertain us from start to finish thank you guys for listening my first i cannot say i cannot see this a lecture it just a write up which i have done or a research article which i have developed on this novel coma by robin cook Thank you